Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Boss Dynamite. So today we will take a look at how to do topology transfer in Houdini. So you can see here there are two head, one from ZBrush, this high-res version, and this is from ScanStore. So this is a good topology with UVs. So we will be transferring this topology onto the high-res uh, mesh. So let's take a look at in Houdini. Alright, so we have our Houdini open. Let me bring in the piles. So first, let me put down a geometry node. Okay, inside I will bring in the piles. First, I will bring in the Hyrus version, that is the ZBrush version. Um, okay, uh, tutorials to transfer high geom. And all right, so this is the Hyrus geometry. I will name this as target and I will bring in the lorus mesh that is logio. So yeah, so we have both this geometry. Now one thing to notice is that their positions are different. So I will lay down a transform node on the target to position is to match roughly to the source. So this will be the, our source. So the lower low mesh will be our source. So okay, now this one transform, transform. Okay. So I will uh, reset the position or uh, pivot. So you can put. Uh, click insert so that you can reposition the pivot maybe at the center and then come out of that move it and rotate okay that will do now just a little bit more all right now we can lay down a topo transfer node so topo transfer node all the operation happen in this node Topo transform. So you can see if you hover your mouse over these knobs, you can see there is template mesh and the target mesh. Target mesh is the high res version of the geometry. So I will take this and connect it over here and the lower mesh over here. Okay. It can come out of the template. Now, if you click on the topo transfer node, you can see there are a lot of options. You don't have to worry about that. I will go with the default uh, option for now. Uh, the values are fine. What we have to do is we have to click on this landmark, add a landmark. And you will get two slots, source point coordinates and target point coordinates. And the name, don't worry about that. You can keep it group 1 as group 1 or you can rename it however you want. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to click on edit landmark group all right so now what happened is like it made a copy of the lorus mesh basically what it's doing is it's calculating and right now we don't have any points so it have nothing to calculate so it just creates a a result a output and this is the output now we will start adding points first let me add a point here okay so now if you press g you can flip it flip between high-res and low-res low mesh. So here we go, this is the high-res mesh and if you press G again, you will back to, will come back to the low-res mesh. So I'll flip it and position this point in relative to the low-res me mesh. Okay, now we have to do that all over head. I'll go back, add more points. Like so. Okay, so these points are mostly placed at important features. Maybe here one, here, here. You can always reiterate these points, move around. Put some more points over here. Uh, I guess uh, maybe one more here. Yes, I believe that should do. 
Okay, if you want, we can add more points later on. We can always come back. Okay, I think that's that should be fine for now. Now what we will do is we will do the corresponding points on the high res geometry. So press G and start matching the points. So you can always flip back to see the exact position, creative position. So I will be doing that. So, okay. And one more important thing is to save your files. I haven't done that. Okay. In case of a crash, it's better to save it. It's good to spend some time on this process. But for the for sake of demonstration, I'm just doing it very fast. Make sure every point is accounted for and properly positioned. Okay, I think that's all the points. Let me flip and see. Yep, it looks like we have done, we have matched all the points. Now what you have to do is very simple, just click on solve. So there's a button over here, so click on solve. And it will take a couple of minutes, maybe. This should be very fast. Just hold on and then it will do the magic. All right, so that has done its magic, see? It has already done the topology transfer and you don't see any sort of errors in mesh except maybe in here you can see a small but that's very small you can easily fix all those things and this ear you can see a small issue so otherwise it's it has done a great job it even opened up the mouth properly without any sort of vertex explosion so this is a great result now you can always go back and uh, move around stuff uh, and to do that, in here, you can see, if you hover your mouse over the points, you can see you can move this around. So in this case, if I want to move, let's say, in here, and maybe this position a little bit better, or maybe I, have, I want to change the position of some of these, you can easily do this. All right, so once you are happy with the result, let's say you have done all the editing, you can commit the changes by clicking on done editing. So let's say if I am done it, I click on done editing, or you can just press enter. Now I'm clicking done editing and you see it's, uh, the reference mesh is gone and you have the final output. Now let's say if you want to change, make changes again, you can go back to the trans topo transfer node, edit landmark group again. So it's back. Now you can move the points around I will change around here. You can press G to check the position. Let's say if you want to add more points, you can click add more points and press G again, go back. Now you have two points who doesn't have a corresponding position. So you just move and fix the positions. Now if you click on solve again, it will update the mesh, update the output mesh. Wait for a couple of seconds. That should do the, do the trick. All right, uh, I think that is done. So the changes has been, it has been updated. And when you are done, press enter again, and then that should commit the changes. All right, that's it for this video. So I hope this helped some of you in understanding topo transfer in Houdini. Thank you.